Hey guys, Ritzy here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a manga haul. <laughs> I was finally able to purchase some manga this month. At the end of the month, I know it's really sudden, but um, the other day I went downtown to my local coffee shop, which is also a bookstore, and they had shuff shuffled through a lot of books that people had brought in to donate to the bookstore and there were a whole bunch of manga that I found. Um, so this first one is Volume 8 of Loveless. Um, this is a series that's really near and dear to my heart. Um, it was my first manga series and I am really close to being complete on the Tokyo Pop editions of the manga and still have to collect the rest of the Omnibus editions and then the Japanese releases. And then the, these others are all from the bookstore slash coffee shop. We have Volume 9 of Fairy Tale. Um, volumes 1 and 2 of Judge which I'm really excited about this manga. I'm really excited to read it. Um, I remember hearing about it on, I think, uh, East Coast Manga's channel, and maybe a couple other people have talked about this manga, but I was really happy to see that they had these there. Um, the art style looks really cool on these. Um, like, it, it's just, it looks really awesome. Um, can't wait to read these. Uh, next we have Volume 4 of Gundam Seed Destiny. Um, now, the coffee shop is the last place I would expect to see any Gundam manga, but I just picked this up because, well, it's a series I haven't seen yet, but... It couldn't hurt to have any some more Gundam manga, you know. Uh, I'll probably look for the other three online, maybe on eBay, see if I can get those. Yeah. Uh, see. Next is uh, Shaman King Volume Three, and I'm currently collecting Shaman King. Um, what I currently have is from uh, a convention where they were uh, ex-library copies, so it's pretty nice to find a solid, like, non-library copy of Shaman King. Um, really excited for the reboot happening this year. I am so there. I watched the show as a kid, I've seen it both dub and sub, and I've read the manga. I'm currently reading some of the spin-off manga online. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can collect a full set of this manga someday. Uh, next is uh, Suikoden 3, Volume 1. Uh, now, this is another manga that I didn't expect to see at my local coffee shop, but um, I'm a big Suikoden fan. It was one of my first JRPGs I've played, so I decided to pick, to pick this up. Uh, then, Volume 6 of Blackbird. Um, I read this series online before, way back when I was a teenager, and I loved it. Uh, it's a good shoujo manga. I have I think one through three already, so it can't hurt to collect more. And I think this is a relatively short series too. Um, yeah, so I'll probably try to get the rest of those. Uh, next is a really interesting one. Uh, this seems to be a French copy of Berserk, Volume 6. Um, now, 
I don't know why there were French manga at that somebody had given away, but there was also a French Sailor Moon, I think, over there too. But yes, yeah, they like completely in French. Like, I can't read French, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I I like the different style of the cover. How it's not like the brown that the Dark Horse volumes are. I like that. Um, but yeah, this is really cool to have. Um, if I ever want to learn French or something, or just maybe read this and try to learn French from it. I don't know, but it's cool. It's got a nice little slip cover on it, which is nice too. I wonder why they don't do slip covers with American manga, but they do it with Japanese and it seems French manga. Uh, and then, last but not least, we have volume two and volume 20 of Initial D. Now, these are a really great find because I've been wanting to start collecting Initial D forever. I still have to watch the anime. I've heard so much good about the anime and the manga. And so I decided to just grab these up. So I'm excited to maybe get the others because these are volume 2 and 20 respectively. So they're not the start of the series, but... It's fine. I'll read it someday. And then for the last thing I picked up is a really good condition copy of Cardcaptor Sakura, the big omnibus from Dark Horse. And this is pretty good condition. Got a little scrape on the top here and some dings on the back but relatively really good condition uh i've read sakura once before when i was younger um so yeah it'll be nice to re-experience it re-experience -re it and you know fall in love with the characters yeah so that is my manga haul for March 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I might be able to do another manga haul in maybe next month or maybe the following month because who knows where I'm going to get manga from. Could be from a place down the street, could be from a place 45 minutes away, who knows. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!